So the most recent trade of wide receiver Stephon Diggs has many questioned if the window of time for the Buffalo Bills and their Super Bowl aspirations have officially closed. And as a longtime Patriots fan, I can only hope and pray that that is the case. But unfortunately, I don't. I do feel like there are several routes that they could take to keep that window open. And I'm just going to go through one that I feel like is probably the most realistic. So in this segment that I've dubbed after further review, we can sit, sip, and take a look at the Buffalo Bills and the one NFL prospect that I feel like could have a bigger impact than many may think. So let's sip and get into it. So let's talk about the trade. So in case you didn't hear, the Buffalo Bills traded wide receiver Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans for a 2025 second round pick. Now for taking into consideration that the Houston Texans are definitely in the Super Bowl contenders conversation, and if they perform as expected, then that second round pick is more than likely going to come towards the bottom of the second round, which I equate to basically a high third round pick. So they definitely, in my opinion, won that trade. They basically gave up a low second, high third for a four-time Pro Bowl caliber receiver. And this isn't like he got into the Pro Bowl seven years ago and hasn't, hasn't been back. No, he has been in the Pro Bowl every year for the last four years. So I say they definitely won that trade and they definitely just gave CJ Stroud, the 2023 Offensive Rookie of the Year, might I add, a yet another weapon for him to completely dismantle opposing defenses with. So while the timing may seem surprising, I don't think many are truly shocked. As there have been ongoing rumors for the last several years that there is tension between Stefan Diggs and superstar quarterback Josh Allen. Most recently, recently being like 24 hours before he was traded, uh, Diggs responded to a tweet um, from the Peaky Pirate on X, aka Twitter, who stated, does Josh benefit from having a top tier receiver? Yes. Is he essential to his success? No. To which Diggs responded, you sure? Not long after that, the Bills announced a trade. And some may also recall that last season, Diggs actually missed or sat out all of mandatory minicamp, which only further added wind to that iconic rumor mill that was spinning stories that Stefan Diggs was dissatisfied and unhappy with the Bills administration and quarterback Josh Allen. So some, myself included, were not all that surprised to see that the Bills and wide receiver Stefan Diggs parted ways, decided both were better off going separate ways, especially with a loaded wide receiver draft class whose upcoming debut is weeks away. Now, just in his four years with Buffalo, so we're not counting his years with the Vikings, just with his years in the Buffalo, Diggs recorded 552 receptions, 5,372 receiving yards and 37 touchdowns. But I don't think anybody believes that it was his regular season production, anybody who's paying attention, that was the issue. We all know, without a doubt, it was the playoff performances. Mostly because he did trend towards going ghost or completely disappearing in playoff games. The most recent being the 2023 divisional round that they played against the Kansas City Chiefs, where they were only down three points in the fourth quarter and Josh Allen did what Josh Allen does. He throws a 60 yard bomb with precision, with touch, on time, in the right place, right where it needs to be. And it unfortunately goes right through Stephon Diggs' hands. The Bills go on to lose that game. The Chiefs go on to win the Super Bowl, much to our dismay. And Diggs ends that game with three receptions and 21 yards in a playoff game, in a division round playoff game, for a trip to the AFC Championship. So that brings us to this question. With the loss of Diggs, as well as safety valve Gabe Davis, who they also lost earlier in the offseason in free agency to the Jacksonville Jaguars, who can they look to in order to fill that gap of production? But not just the production. Can they find somebody, potentially a rookie, that can improve their playoff performance and does that give them the edge to stay relevant in the Super Bowl contention conversation? My thought is yes, absolutely. And there is one particular player that I feel like could be a huge, huge impact to them, but I don't think anybody else is really paying attention. They are both six feet, 
and they both weigh in at an 185, 190 pound range, meaning McConkey is similar in stature to Diggs. During the combine, Diggs posted a 4.46, where McConkey posted a 4.39, meaning McConkey is just as fast, not a little bit faster than Diggs. Diggs posted a 35 inch vertical, where Lab McConkey posted a 36 inch vertical, meaning McConkey can jump just as high and high point a ball just as well as Diggs. Both guys also have a considerability to track a ball down the field, and that bodes well for Josh Allen, who has a knack for that deep, deep ball that's over the top. And they are both great route runners, as I've already mentioned. They both have the ability to cut the top off the defense, cut off their routes instantaneously, can bolt in the opposite direction, and completely leave a defender in their wake. So per NFL Draft Buzz, 2023, Lam McConkey averaged 15.9 yards per catch and a QB rating of 137.3, meaning this man virtually catches everything thrown his way and undoubtedly fixes their drop issue. Diggs, on the other hand, posted 11.1 yards per reception in 2023 and allowed a 92.2 QB rating when targeted. But when you kind of add them together or you equal them out between collegiate and professional football, they're virtually equal. They're basically the same guy. So if I'm the Buffalo Bills and Lab McConkey is there at 28, which he's projected to be, he's projected to go late first, potentially early round, then you absolutely have to take him. Because what you cannot allow to happen is for the Kansas City Chiefs or the Ravens to get their hands on him. So if I'm them, I have a 28th overall pick, I am calling dibs on my wide receiver one position on a great wide receiver prospect that has the ability to keep our Super Bowl window open and ready for business.